welcome to Real Physics. Today I will talk about Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. You know that I am very interested in thinking traditions and I guess that if you want to understand physics, in, in particular contemporary physics, we need to have a look at history and there is a huge difference between the European philosophically oriented thinking tradition and the practical American way of getting things done. And there are a couple of figures that represent these thinking traditions and one of them, I guess, is Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison, indeed. I'm not giving a biography here, but I invite you to look at the biographies of these two great inventors and they were both exceptional people. And uh, to start with Nikola Tesla, he was born in the serbian croatian border region and uh, yeah he was a very bright guy but at the end he dropped out of university maybe he got a degree but was not very successful he, i mean anything below a full professorship would be not satisfactory so he worked here and there and then i guess it was he was born in 1874 i guess uh, around the turn of the century he went to america and this is also an example I mean, what kind of potential this country had to offer to people were, who were smart and gifted and creative, but without having a formal degree or formal education. So I think Tesla was a, an important example. And then he got a job at the company of his future great rival, Thomas Edison. And after six months, he left the company. He said he wanted to work for his own, but he was never successful. From an intellectual point of view, I think that Tesla was superior to Edison in many respects. But if you count success in life, if you take that as a measure, without doubt Edison was much more important. Edison was later called the inventor of the invention machine, and he had an incredible creativity, but opposed to Tesla, who was very interested in the basic laws and the how nature worked, this is the European tradition, Edison was also, was always interested in how to get this done, how to make an invention out of a law of nature. And he, he once said, he, I'm not interested in things which I cannot sell. So this was the mentality. And well, the rivalry culminated in the fact that Edison represented the direct current approach and Tesla was promoting the alternating current. He had this big insight in a park in Budapest, allegedly, when he thought about the laws of electrodynamics and then he came his, up with this invention of, of alternating current. And of course, I mean, both of them were great inventors, engineers, electric engineers, but in a different way of thinking. Edison, besides having the insight of how things worked, he also realized how to make a product out of that and he applied these, all the physics, he applied it to movies, to radio, to electricity, to everything. So he was always much more successful from an economic point of view. And Tesla wrote about Edison more or less the following. He said, I almost feel sorry for him because he could save 90% of his efforts if he would think or calculate just a little bit. But he, Edison, is so convinced of his American practical way of thinking that he just doesn't realize that. But I think Tesla was a little bit invidious in, in writing that. And there is definitely something in Edison that Tesla did not have as a capability. It's kind of a line of scientist, researcher, inventor, entrepreneur and businessman. And Edison leaned to the side of the entrepreneur and businessman and Tesla was to the side of the scientist and the researcher. And both were great inventors. So do not misunderstand this as if I wanted to dismiss one of the thinking traditions. I think only it's very important to distinguish and to be aware of this difference. European physics always tried to get to the bottom of things, to discover the truth, to understand how nature truly works, how reality is. And the American style of physics is very successful. They succeeded in building huge industries, entire fields of research, I mean also the mega projects 
such as the moon landing and the and the atomic bomb was eventually realized in America, not in Europe. So this is something one needs to be aware of. Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison are very good examples for these two different thinking traditions. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.